so now that you guys have seen the sample video of this dash cam the van true n2 pro and you've seen the unboxing uh, i wanted to show you guys how to use it so go ahead let's go ahead and turn it on and what we're going to do right now is uh, right now it's not recording when you press ok it's going to start recording and um, usually when you connect it with the power in your phone uh, in your car as soon as you turn the ignition on the default setting will be recording so it's going to start recording right away in order to stop the recording you would have to press ok to stop recording and that is when you can actually get into the menu we're going to press the menu right here um, let's go into record setup press ok we have resolution i have it set to dual 1920 by 1080p on both the cameras but you can select these options right here um, which is just going to be for the front camera only so 2560 by 1440 um, is just for the front if you were to record it at that higher resolution otherwise you can set it to dual it's full HD on both the cameras press OK loop recording I have it set to three minutes you can have it up to one three or five or off if you turn it off it's going to be recording 20 minute clips and it will not loop record and it will stop recording when your SD card is full or reaching full capacity these buttons are to navigate the menu G sensor I have it set to medium this is basically when there's any kind of shock or movement that the this camera senses such as an accident or um, you know basically that's what it is for is if there was an accident it will uh, it will record I mean it's recording anyway but it's going to actually save that particular clip into an events folder which is separate from the recordings um, and uh, it basically what that does is that it that particular video is saved in a separate folder so it cannot be overwritten it will not be you know um, loop recorded over so that's a really good feature and I have the sensi sensitivity set to medium audio recording obviously I want it to be on because I want to record audio as well parking mode is basically I have it set to off but what it does is that it's uh, it has a motion detection feature in the front camera and if it senses any kind of movement in front of the camera it's going to start recording it I have it just set to off because for that feature to function properly you have to have the power to this camera hardwired to your car battery and I don't want to go through all of that trouble uh, so I just have it set to off and the reason why you have to have it hardwired is that if the battery is low on this camera your your basically your camera is going to be on on 24/7 um, it will just you know whenever it detects movement it's going to start recording so that's going to it's going to need to have power constantly so I have, to, I have it set off then we have exposure I have it set to zero which is by default and then you have number plate this is a good feature 
for when you have a fleet of vehicles and you're saving up, you know, a lot of different videos from different vehicles. This will kind of it basically uh, puts a stamp right next to the timestamp at the bottom of the video. Uh, I I basically just put it put it as Uber Drive. It's going to show up right next to the time and the date stamp in the video. And this is the stamp, time and date stamp. I have the settings that I want to show up are the date and time stamp, logo stamp, I, I, it's off, number stamp I have on, which is basically the, the plate number. Uh, speed stamp I have I have off it's not gonna work anyway because I don't have the GPS module that you have to buy separately to record the speed and the exact GPS coordinates of your recording and the GPS location stamp is also off because I, you know, I don't have the GPS module let's go back Rotate display, I have it as off. Time lapse, I have off as well. And time lapse feature is basically going to take a picture every one second, five seconds, or 10 seconds, and uh, or 30 seconds, or one minute. And what that does is that it's going to stitch all those pictures together and create a time um, lapse video for you. I just have it off, uh, set to off. Because I don't really need it, but I will try it maybe in the future. Then you have the power off delay, which I have set to um, on. And um, what that does is that when you turn off your camera or turn off the, your car it will save just a couple of seconds of video um, right you know before it turns off then you have system setup we have language set to English there are other languages you can choose. Format is if you want to format your SD card, you can do it here. Time and date, you can set it up here. Auto LCD off, I have it set to one minute. device sound I have turned off non use auto power off is three minutes if you're not using it you know it will power off in three minutes frequency is just a video frequency you can just set it leave it as a default which is 50 Hertz System info basically tells you what the firmware version is. And then you have the default settings and you can just select the default settings if you ever wanted to. GPS setup, I don't have GPS module so I don't really need to set this up but you can set it up here if you have the GPS module. And then you have the files. These are the three folders that will show up in your SD card. Each folder event, like I mentioned, is when it detects a movement of the camera. If it shakes or you know anything like that, it will start recording and it will save it to this folder. And then you have normal, which is the normal operation of the camera. This is where it saves all the videos. And then you have photo, which is basically 
while the video is being recorded if you press this button right here it will take a snapshot and save it into the photos folder that's it let's go back so let's go ahead and show you some how it records and, and while it's recording what features are available so let's go ahead and press the OK button to start recording on the top right here this is auto night vision on so when it gets dark it will automatically turn on these four infrared lights and it's going to start recording it in black and white infrared night vision um, if you press the power button it toggles on off and auto and if you press this button right here this one it will turn off the screen and menu button doesn't do anything on the screen and if I was to press this one it's going to basically turn off the mic and turn it on so in order to record sound or not record sound there you have it now while it's recording if I press this P button right here it's going to you, you hear a sound well since I have the sound off you cannot hear it but if you have the device sound on in settings you would hear um, uh, basically a camera click and that tells you that it just saved a picture and also it's going to save this video that is being recorded it has the lock sign there it basically means that it will save it into the events folder and it's locked means it cannot be overwritten so that's really good in case you just got into a, an accident god forbid you can immediately press this button and it's going to save that video clip all right so there you have it guys that is the uh, how you would use this Vantru N2 Pro dual dash cam hope you enjoyed this video um, go ahead and like comment and subscribe if you did and let me know in the comments what you liked about it and what you would like me to cover next all right take care until next time